Detroit. I've lived here since 1990 in South Bend. Uh, my wife here, I've got two kids, 12 and 3. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're coming from, honey. That is a wow. There's that. Anybody watch Lord of the Rings? Anybody know yeah. that movie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I'm Frodo. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm small and I got hairy feet, you know? But that ring to me represents in my life influence. And it's, it's given to Frodo, he has no idea what to do with it, and he's talking to Gandalf in this cave, and Gandalf's trying to figure out how to make their next move, and Frodo says, I just don't know what to do with this, I wish it was never given to me. And uh, Gandalf says, that's not for you to worry about. You have to decide what you're going to do with the time that's given to you. You know, what, the, what's, what, what are you going to do with this ring? What's this influence? Man, this hope is a huge word. Uh, restoration is a huge word. Renewal is a new word. In these hallways, every breath is a second chance. That's right. And you know what? Uh, people need to hear that. People need inspiration. And every single person in here has a story. Every single person. And it matters. Um, you have intrinsic value that you know not of. So I'm writing a microphone next week, and we're going to let the world know that there's life change happening in these hallways. I called Sarah and I called David and I said, may I please come live here for a week? Uh, I asked my wife and she said, absolutely, get out of this house. <laughs> Talked about it, we prayed on it. So I asked for your grace and mercy next week as I kind of fumble through this broadcast. I'm on from 6 a.m. probably till 7 p.m. at night. Every now and then I'll be in a class. Uh, every now and then I'll be eating, uh, eating with you guys. Um, uh, is it possible when you snore? So I don't know what room you're going to be in, but it would be okay if you get got woke waking up. <laughs> no, I need my baby sleep. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I get duct taped in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I love the question, do you snore? <laughs> Thanks for having me, and I will uh, I will see you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye.